Now we're going to look at a positional release for the hamstrings. This client has come to me with hamstrings that they describe as really, really tight and pain at the back of the knee, back of the outside knee in particular. So I'm suspecting biceps femoris is quite tight in spasm. I may have done some other assessments, palpated it, and I want to release it. So the client's feeling pain on the outside back of the knee. So that's where I'm going to palpate for that tender spot. I'm then going to try and bring that into a position of ease. And given that it's on the back of the body, that's probably going to involve an element of extension of the hip and flexion of the knee to try and shorten that tissue. So if we think of those attachments, we're attaching across the hip and down and across the knee. So we may use both joints to facilitate that. So first things first is to palpate and find that tender spot. Okay, and how's it feeling in there? Ouchy. Honestly, okay, so that ouchy that the client describes, um, and I can feel it's quite tender, quite tense. It's just below the knee and towards the head of fibula where I am at the moment, and that's where they've described that pain as well as the tightness in their hamstring. So that position there, or that level, is going to be a 10. I'm going to move you into different positions, and I'm going to check in and just see where you are on that scale and we're hoping to get down to a three or a two. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to move the client's leg, is remove the pillow. Okay, so knees up please. Thank you very much. And this will make it easier for me to move and lower the legs back down. Also, I may want to bring the hip into a little bit of extension, so I'm going to ask them to shuffle to the edge of the bed and that will allow me to bring the leg off the bed as we move into these positions. So again, we're going to repalpate that point. Are we there? Mm, ouch. Okay, good. So now I'm going to bring the knee, the first thing I'm going to do, off the bed, and I'm going to bring it into flexion. So that's shortening that hamstring. So on a scale of one to 10, where are we now? Um, maybe less than 10, but not five, so seven. Okay, seven. around a seven, so we have got a decrease, but we want to create more. So I'm going to bring the leg off the bread and bring that hip into flexion further. Now, has that eased it further? Yes, it has. It has, and where are we on that scale? I would say we are below a five. Below a five, okay, fantastic. So now with the knee flex, I'm going to just rotate the leg slightly. Okay, so getting that little bit of rotation at the knee. So I've just externally rotated it. Has that made it better or worse? Uh, no change. No change. And if I rotate the leg inwards, I can feel that's increased the tension. Um, how does that feel? Worse or better? Actually better. Okay, but it feels better for this client. As we say, let's not presume to know what's going to ease it for the client. Okay, and if I bring your knee further into flexion now, where are we on that scale? Uh, it's gotten worse. Okay, and we're going to bring it back a little. Yeah, that's better. Okay, and on a scale of one to ten? I'd say that's below a five as well. Okay, so about a three? Yes. And we're going to hold that for 90 seconds. So again, watch your body mechanics. Although it may seem strange to work the hamstring in supine, it's easier for me because actually gravity is taking his leg rather than me trying to lift it into extension. And I can simply stand in this lunged position, client is supported and I am supported well. If your client does hyperextend at the knee, you could also place a pillow under that knee for the duration of this technique, but as it's only for two to three minutes, they should be fine in this position. So coach your client to breathe, to let it go and to simply relax. Once the 90 seconds is up, a slow return is critical because we don't want to shock those muscle spindles and get a stretch reflex or an inverse stretch reflex as we believe that may be part of why this works. And on palpation of that same point, has the tenderness reduced? Yes, it has. It has. And on palpation, I can palpate that that whole biceps femoris has really softened and let go.